What's Morales Black from Antivy? Hello, Kari, how are you? Very nice to meet you. Now, you're no stranger to doing TV episodes of, fr- of programs that have a built-in audience. So what goes into saying yes to taking on a Marvel franchise that has a built-in audience and you're doing all of them instead of just one? Well, besides yes, yes, and yes, uh, I was thrilled to be asked, obviously. Um, you know, it's no different, really, in that you still are looking at the story and the characters and the material. You know, we, we built it from the ground up in the sense that this was a new place to be able to take the characters because we could live with them for a lot longer. Um, and what was great about being involved with all six is that I could know and be a part of their evolution as you shoot. Because like with um, any movie or any longer term project, the characters, you know, they kind of live and breathe and they change and they grow and you want and as one scene informs another. So you've discovered something between the two in one scene and you want to you know, capitalize on that and bring it into, into others. So um, I think uh, for me, it was a joy to, to um, be very, you know, much a part of all of those minutia moments and be able to then um, put them, assault them through the entire, uh, the entire six hours. Um, it also helps with the actors because, uh, you know, I, I'm there. So there's a trust and a, and a familial kind of um, vibe that starts going on. And it's very hard if people are coming and going because there does need to be a bit of consistency, particularly if you're diving into characters that we, we haven't really met in this way before. So, um, so yes, I hope that answered the question. <laughs> I haven't said all of that. How much of a Marvel fan oh, were you? Oh, know you what? Know I've Marvel? lost you. Can you hear me? I've lost you. Can you hear me? There, now I can hear you. Okay. Uh, having said all of that, how much of a Marvel fan are you? Were you? Did you have to watch enough of the movies to catch up to know these characters as opposed to having Kevin tell you what's going on with these characters already? Well, I, I of course I was a fan, um, but I don't think anyone other than a very core group of people can know all the details of all the, you know, these characters and this world. So I certainly relied heavily on making sure, you know, that I had someone kind of fact checking and helping out. Um, but uh, what I really was very much a fan, I am very much a fan of, and always was, um, was sort of kind of the political side of what what Marvel, what MCU universe is about, because it it was born of a time uh, a very anti-fascist movement. And it was, you know, came out of the Second World War, which was very specific to a, a kind of thought process and a exploration of elitism and um, and all of the things that come with um, what it is to be a warrior and uh, and saving the world on, you know, on very specific terms. So what I what I've found that I really respect is that they've never backed off from that conversation. So there's real meat on the bones uh, for all of these stories that, you know, under they're, they're operating at a couple of different levels, which um, I always find kind of exciting. You know, from watching the first episode, we see that both Anthony and Sebastian are going to be involved, at least their characters, in a lot of actions. Should we be expecting that in all of the episodes, you know, like, you know, before it's, they get together? It's or something. a wild ride, yeah. We, uh, we really, the action is full on Marvel. The uh, comedy, the, their relationship is um, really fun, and uh, and but also lots of uh, real heartfelt moments. I mean, we really explore the story of the shield and what it is for a black man to be carrying that shield, and whether whether Sam wants to be that guy or what it means to him. Uh, we really uh, take on some very interesting and I think very relevant topics. Uh, throughout throughout the series, so it's full mm. surprises. You know, interesting enough, I saw um, at a power playing Sarah Wilson in there, and obviously people know her from the comic books. Will we be getting more of Sam's uh, of characters from the comic books imported into the TV series, but totally different from what the comic books has them be? Well, one of the things that's that's great about um, the, the the movies. At, or you know, series 
as compared to comics, is they're allowed to kind of live in two separate places. So while one informs the other, um, I don't, I think everyone is very open to allowing the series or the movies to have their own signature and what's needed for that narrative and what, you know, to, to enhance the story or to be part of that story. So um, it, it's, we're not making a series of documentaries, you know, that are, that are super accurate to the books. I think the goal is to be authentic to the, uh, the comics um, and make sure we're serving the same themes and the same uh, the same characters by by overall definition, but in terms of specifics, there's lots of room. <laughs> now we just finished watching WandaVision, eight episodes or so, and you know people were wanting more. We're only going to get six episodes. You know, do you feel you got enough as much as you could do with six episodes? I think there's always more. You know, there's always more. What was great about six is that we could tell a story like a movie. So um, it is like a six hour movie and it will, it will feel like that uh, in all the Marvel glory. Um, could it have been 12? Could it have been 20? Of course, because there's story upon story upon story. Um, and these characters are lovely to be with and, uh, and lovely to work with. Um, but I think six is kind of a perfect nugget. Uh, so uh, for me and for the actors and you know, you can really wrap your head around it from an execution place and um, nothing, nothing gets uh, repeated, you know, themes and ideas um, stay, stay in their lane. And, and so, yeah, so yes, there, there's lots more and I'm glad we told it in six. <laughs> Will we be getting Easter eggs throughout the series? Like, you know, of was it was it during the credits in the movie? You just better keep your eyes open because they're all throughout. <laughs> and just like, even now, you, you know, you've done these six episodes. Obviously, people, a lot more people are going to know who you are, you know, outside of what you've done already. You know, so when you're talking to a Marvel audience, they always want to know how much of a fan are you? You know, did you catch up with the comic books outside of what you were told? You know? Oh my gosh, yeah. You know, of course, you have to do a deep dive. Um, and and uh, I think... I have great respect uh, for, for the legacy of the world that I'm working in with, with this particular series. Um, and I've got great respect for all the characters that were created. You know, uh, the Stan Lee of it, uh, obviously a brilliant mind. Um, I wish I'd met him. Uh, you know, sadly, um, uh, I wasn't uh, blessed enough to do that. But um, so I just hope we're carrying the torch in the, in the way that... Um, he would approve, and I, I, I think we are, and we're in great hands with Kevin, Kevin Feige, who is, uh, you know, the, the master of the ship. Um, so it's a, it's a wonderful world that to be part of, and I really, you know, I hope that I will always be part of it in some, in some, some way. Whether it's just me reading my comics by myself, or whether I'm able to uh, be back in the universe, any way I can, any way I can be a part of it, I would like. And just to wrap it up, what's your takeaway as a director, having worked on six episodes as secretive as this, and with enough action sequences that you can take on to your next project? Well, I think every project informs every every day I show up on set, or every project that has very particular needs informs. You know, we kind of walk around with a suitcase full of a skill set. And so um, obviously this had big action sequences. I wasn't stranger to action sequences, but there's a particular kind of, of um, uh, uh, you know, there's also a sense of in this particular narrative, because you are drawing from the comics, there's that. So all of these things inform next projects. Um, so, and, but it's hard to say in particular, because you're always drawing on something that you've seen or done before and you're hopefully you're not doing it again. You're hopefully taking that information and sort of evolving it to the needs of the, 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 new, the new place that you're in. So, um, so yeah, it's all about you know uh, feeding feeding the creative brain. Mm -hmm. Harry, thank you for taking the time talking to me. I'm sure the series will do very very well, and uh, oh, we look forward to what you do next. Thank you very much. Thank you.